I made a huge mistake the other day. We did the hugs video, and oh my goodness, I left somebody out. So listen, we're back to hugs. This is hugs part two. There's a fair chance we might have a hugs three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can count to ten. It's amazing. So look, hugs. Let's talk a little bit about the types of hugs, because we talked about the importance of hugs. We didn't talk about the types of hugs. So, let's start this off really quickly. Okay, so we covered my sister, Tara. Great freaking hugs. Nobody's ever gonna touch them. Okay, not gonna happen. Aunt Megan, really good hugs. Utah, too far away. Those are expensive hugs is what we call those. But we do have some local hugs. I wanna give a really good shout out. Local hugs, my Aunt Linda. My Aunt Linda, I love my Aunt Linda. One of the sweetest people in the world. And we're talking about a lady that used to rip off this nice leather belt and she'd pop it and she'd chase me around the house. Now, she didn't she didn't spank me like she spanked everybody else. We'd go visit all the time. And Aunt Linda, she'd pull out the belt and she'd get all over her kids. But little old Jason, he was just too sweet. You couldn't even touch the guy. That's still the way it is. Talk around, get in trouble. Talk around in a circle. Talk around in a circle till you get yourself out of trouble. Look, it works 99% of the time. It's not manipulation. It's called, I don't want my booty beat. Don't beat me. I'm a sweet little innocent Jason. I got all, I got a book of excuses. Don't hurt me. I'll do better next time, I promise. I'm a slow learner regardless. Back to hugs. Aunt Linda hugs. Thank you for your hugs. You give really good hugs. Okay, so types of hugs. What kind of hugs are there? We already covered them. There ain't enough parents out there hugging their little baby boys and girls. I'll hug them for you. Bring them on over here, old creepy Jason will get them hugs. So, we got this one particular kind of hug that I love the most. My Aunt Megan called it the 30 second hug. Okay, this is the extended release hug. This is not one of those fast acting pills. This is extended release. You got to get the hug. You got to wrap your arms. Wrap your arms around them and hug them extended. 30 seconds is what she said. Look. When I tuck my kids in bed at night, they hate it. Kaysen doesn't hate it. He likes it. Tanner, he doesn't like it. He doesn't want to be hugged. They're like five-minute hugs. I will. They are full-blown, lay body on top of you, breathe in, breathe out, get that full body weight on that child. Whoever it is you're hugging, you just got to just lay on top of them and just release all of your body weight onto them. That way they know you're here I'm melting into you, hug. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. It's probably gonna be five minutes unless you start kicking me. Kicking me in the crotch. That happens, Tanner. Thank you, sir. So that's the kind of hug I like. Nice little extended hug. Now, of course, if you're always, you know, if you're visiting or something, if you hug someone frequently, like, oh my goodness, if people come see you a couple times a week and you give them a hug, you kinda of get tired of the extended hug. So there's ways around that. You know, you get get a good little hug, wrap your arms around them. Pat them on the back a little bit, okay? Not just a little pitter-patter hug. You know, may, maybe grip their shoulder blades just a little bit, okay? Give extended hugs every once in a while, okay? There's this type of hug, and this is, oh, jeez, oh, my in-laws do this hug. It's the, it's the, I don't want to let you in hug, where you just uh, turn this way. It's the... You go in for a full-blown hug, and they're like, like they want to just touch you on the shoulders like this, like a T. It, how about we call it a T-Rex hug? So it's a T-Rex hug. I'll just barely touch your shoulders. Don't let your body touch mine, because I don't know what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of intimacy. Are you afraid of intimacy? Is that what's happening? A lot of people do it, okay? Another great hug. COVID took this away from me. The bro hug, man. Where you go in, you shake a dude's hand. While you got their hand, you pull them into you, okay? You pull them into you. You take this free hand, normally it's your left. You take the free hand, wrap it around, and pull them even closer. You can even give an extended hug at that point, 30 seconds. Count it. One, two, three, Mississippi. Four, Mississippi. There you go. Use the Mississippi count. So, bro hugs, really, really cool. Now, one more thing to cover before we're done with this part two. Now, this is very freaking important. This drives me insane, okay? So, it drives me so crazy, I just lost focus. Thinking about these hugs, I need a hug. Somebody come give me a hug, T-Rex hug. No, no T-Rex hugs. Get out of here with that, what are you afraid of? 
Why are you afraid of that? Jeez. I'm back on track. Here we go. So, the kind of hug that drives me crazy. Look, I'm six foot two. You've hugged me once. You've hugged me a thousand freaking times. If you're shorter than me, then guess what? I'm going up over the top. Over the top, okay? Not arm wrestling over the top. Sylvester Stallone, arm wrestling over the top. No, sir, I'm going over the top. I'm six foot two. You're shorter. Say you come up to here, 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 whatever. Your shoulders are smaller than mine. Why on earth would you try to go over the top and make me go up under the armpits? Because then I'm up under your armpits like this trying to hug you. It makes zero sense. I'm bigger than you. Just because I... I go over the top doesn't mean I'm trying to dominate you. That just means I'm bigger than you. Let me hug you the way I hug you. That's the way I give hugs. I'm six foot two. I'm bigger than you. Suck it up. Stop trying to dominate me by going over the top. 